Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. I give God thanks. For giving me another opportunity to be here before you tonight. And for joy. Because a week from today, I would have been in tears with my whole family. But praise be unto the Lord Jesus. I can laugh and smile today. And that is all because of God. Um, we're going to turn to our um, First King chapter 13. This was uh, on this particular chapter. Uh, this was my first message in restoration when I first came here. This was the first message. I. This is the first book and chapter. This is the first and chapter. That pastor gave me. Et pastor te bom, that gave me a way. Qui te fait pour moi, um, that I have a gift. Et, et qui fait to preach. Pour if it wasn't for this chapter. Si pas pour chapitre, I probably would not be here today. Je pas la preaching unto you. A à -même. I would have been doing other things. Je fait but because of this first book and chapter. Mais parce que et ça, God gave him a flash, bon Dieu, flash that I can preach. Prior to that, only one person in this church knew that I have a gift. Avant ça, celle, qui Other than myself. Mm, à part moi -même. And God knows I would never share that I have a gift. Et bon Dieu, connaît, m -m 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 but God is good, amen? Mais bon Dieu, bon. So if somebody can read um, 1 Kings chapter 13, Verse 7 to 24. Then the king said to the man of God, Come home with me. Refresh yourself and I'll give you a reward. But the man of God replied, If you were to give me half your house, I still wouldn't go with you. And I wouldn't eat food or drink water in this place. For this is what I was commanded by the word of the Lord. You must not eat food or drink water or go back the way you came. So he went another way. He did not go back by the way he had come to Bethel. Now a certain old prophet was living in Bethel. His son came and told him all the deeds that the man of God had done that day in Bethel. His sons also told their father the words that he had spoken to the king. Then their father asked them, which way did you go? His sons had seen the way taken by the man of God who had come from Judah. And he said to his sons, saddle the donkey for me. So they saddled the donkey for him and he got on it. He followed the man of God and found him sitting under an oak tree. He asked him, are you the man of God who came from Judah? I am, he said. And he said to him, come home with me and eat some food. But he answered, I cannot go back with you or accompany you. I will not eat food or drink water with you in this place. For a message came to me by the word of the Lord. You must not eat food or drink water there or go back the way you came. He said to him, I am also a prophet like you. An angel spoke to me by the word of the Lord. Bring him back with you to your house so that he may eat food and drink. This is what the Lord says, because he rebelled against the Lord's command and did not keep the command that the Lord your God commanded you, but you went back and ate food and drank water in the place that he said to you, do not eat food and do not drink water. Your corpse will never reach the grave of your fathers. So after he had eaten food and after he had drunk, the old prophet 
sand the donkey for the crop in Ania to run back. When he left, a lion attacked him along the way and killed him. His corpse was thrown on the road and the donkey was standing beside it. The lion was standing beside the corpse too. Amen. 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 So my topic for you today is who is your true master? Topic me pour c'est qui mon qui vrai maître. Um because here we see that the um servant of God, la the man of God. La loi et homme de Dieu. God gave him a message. Bon Dieu ba l'on message. At first he followed the message. Avant il te suivre message là. But then something happened. He disobeyed that message. Après ça, grand bagage qui passait, il désobéit message là. So who is your true master? So qui est-ce qui veut mettre tout? Because nobody will obey someone who they don't trust. Pas grand quel monde qui obéit au monde, il pas quoi. No one in their right mind. Pas grand monde et dans bon sens yo. As a servant. Comme un servant. Will obey another master. Il a obéi un autre. Master. Because if Sister Mimi is my master, if Sister Mimi, I will obey. Sister Mimi, I will obey. I will not obey anyone else but Sister Mimi. Because I am her servant. But today we see that we have a tendency to obey our flesh. Pastor has gone through the Bible study. Et pasteur l'allait autour des études bibliques là. Where he thought taught us. Que de lui enseigner nous. That when you follow your flesh or Et certain desires. L'on suit chez vous au désir. C'est yon désir ou convertise qui immodéré. It is a desire that is immoderate. Meaning. No matter what happens. Il veut dire quel que soit ça qui passe. The world could shake. Et les monde te mettent. Okay. The word of God, you can read it and see it and hear it. But you will still follow your flesh. You will follow the master that you obey. There's nothing you can do about it to help it. Because in our sinful nature, it requires for us to obey our flesh. In our sinful nature, it requires for us to obey another master. But when you come to Christ and you understand what it means to abstain from certain things and you understand what it means to re- deny, de- deny yourself you understand what it means to carry the cross you will obey the only master. And the only master we have is Jesus. But that's not what we do today. We are in the same situation of this man of God in this chapter. Because when God speaks, we hear it. It's not that we don't hear it. Some of us, we understand it. It's not that we don't understand. But somebody else comes. They tell you something different. You'd rather obey that what you heard. Than obeying what the master said. Do you not have a relationship with God? Because somebody who have a relationship with someone. They listen to that person. Because there's a certain an intimacy that's there. You see people who don't listen to God. People who don't obey God. There is no intimacy. I don't care what you say. I don't care you say you pray morning. You pray noon. You pray evening. You don't sleep at night. You praying. Fasting is your best friend. Without an intimacy with God. There's no relationship. And without a relationship with God, there's no obedience. 
So the one whom you're obeying so moon wap obey ya. is not Jesus. And we all know there's only two forces in the world. There's Jesus and there is Satan. So if you don't have an intimacy with Jesus and there is no obedience, the one you're listening to is Satan. The man of God had a relationship with God. Or should I say he thought he had a relationship. Because if you know you have an intimacy with God, you will not doubt what God says. Because God speaks once. And the Bible says he's not a man that he should change his mind or a son of man to repent. So if he is not a son of man, to repent, nor does he change his mind, why do you think now that you, God is saying something different. Your desires will make you believe something God did not say. What you want to hear will make you believe something God did not say. And then you will say, God said this. I need you to understand that you are a liar. Because something God did not say, it makes you a liar. And and the Bible says, if you are a person who lies, you have a father. But we all have an intimacy with God. But we see that the son, the servant of God in this chapter, God spoke to him, but because the king did not follow the line of God, it's easy for us to reject those things. It's going to be easy for me to reject somebody in the world of what they say. Because they don't know Christ. You're not even walking with the Lord. What am I listening to you for? But it's easier to listen when a, when a servant of God comes and speaks to us. But didn't you say that you know the voice of God? Didn't you say you have a relationship with God? Didn't you say that there is an intimacy? So how come you don't know the voice of the person you love? How come you don't know the voice of the person you have a relationship with? The person you have an intimacy with. There is a lack somewhere. Because we all think that God is speaking to us. But when Jesus said to pick up the cross and follow me, we follow our own desires. But I, I have an intimate relationship with God. But the cross is too heavy for me to carry. But when Jesus decided to die and follow obedience, to follow that cross, he didn't say it was too heavy because there was a relationship with the father an intimate relationship that he wanted to keep and because of that intimacy he wanted to keep he obeyed but we are walking in disobedience. Be careful who you allow to speak in your ears. Because there is something that Marashe and Father, um, um, Pastor taught me. Follow the person in the light of the gospel. But the minute the person turns away from the light, there's no relationship. I will hear what you say, but there is no obedience because you are not in the will of God. There is no relationship between light and darkness. And someone who is walking out of the will of God is walking in darkness. Period. Period. So there is nothing they can tell you that will make you walk and remain in the in the light of God. So Because they themselves do not see. Because they're blind. And they're walking in darkness. Be careful. When you see somebody who says, I am a servant of God. For you to sit there and you listen to them. Be careful. 
faites attention. Because your weaknesses Parce que faiblesse ou yo. will seduce you to make you fall. La pour faire tomber. That's what happened to Adam and Eve in the garden. C'est ça qui passé Adam et Eve dans, dans le jardin. Because of the lust of the flesh. Parce que désir chair. Because of the lust of the eyes. Et désir chair. And the pride of life. Et orgueil de la vie. That weakness que yo pas géré. The weakness that they did not take care of. It allowed them to fall. Because you see, when you allow your weaknesses to seduce you, Satan will come to give you an offer. And if you don't have an intimate relationship with God, you will take that offer. And the minute you take that offer, you step out of the circle of God. You step out of the glory of God. And the minute you do that, Satan possesses you right there. And you will be like Samson who taught that he was walking with God and said that I am going to break this building and God was not there. So who are you walking with? With what spirit are you walking with? When you think you're hearing God, it's not God you're listening to. When you think you know the voice of God, it's not God you're listening to. Because we have been listening to the messages where the Bible says to pick up your cross and walk. To denounce yourself and follow Jesus. Restoration, I have come to re- to tell you tonight that you let your cross down a long time ago. Some of us, we left the cross a long time ago. And we are walking and we believe that we're following Christ. But you left the cross behind a long time ago. Jesus was on the cross. So if you are walking and you're saying you're following Christ, who are you walking with? Who are you listening to? Who is your master? Because you left the cross a long time behind the goal. But the Bible says to pick up your cross and walk. You see someone who don't want to obey Jesus, they will leave the cross behind. And they will pretend that they are walking with Christ. They will pretend that they are carrying the cross. But when God says no, to them is yes. And when God says yes, to them is no. Confusion. Confusion. When you are in a state of confusion, I need you to know that God is not there. The old prophet was able to seduce this man of God and to bring confusion because God was not there. Because it says that he deceived the servant of God. When God is present, no one can deceive you because you know what God first said. And if you know the word of God, where it says that God does not change his mind. Or he is not a son of man that he should lie. You would know that the first thing God says to stand on that first thing. I need you to understand the cross that you have left behind. If you do not pick up that cross and follow Christ, your end will be just like this man. Even if you don't die physically, you are probably spiritually dead already. If you do not pick up the cross and follow Christ, if you do not pick up the cross and follow Christ, your faith is the same as this man. Even if it does not happen physically, Même si pas passé physiquement. spiritually, you will die. 
And you will be like Samson. Who thought that God is walking with him. Who thought that the presence of God was still there in his life. But God left a long time ago. Restoration, pick up your cross. And follow Christ. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop confusing yourself. Stop listening to another master. Because there's only one master. There's only one master. And that one master only speaks one time. He does not speak in multiples. He has one voice. It's not a different voice. So if you know that the voice that you have been hearing, listening to, is telling you something different from what God said first, understand that you are walking in deception. And you are totally confused. And the minute you're confused, God is not there. The moment you're confused, God is not there. Restoration, pick up your cross. Because some of you left the cross already. And you are walking in your own flesh. You are not walking with Christ. Your master is not Christ. Because the one who believes and knows they are following Christ. They listen to that master. There's two masters. There's one in the world. And if it's the one in the world that you are following, I need you to hear me well today. His name is Satan and that's the one whom you're following. God did not Put servants of God in your, in your life for you to reject what they said. Last week we heard the minute you reject God and the messages that has been preached and every single thing you have heard you reject it it will be a judgment on you. So restoration, pick up your cross and follow Christ. Stop deceiving yourself and truly walk with Christ. God bless you.